Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today on your soul's journey reading. Um, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single one of you. Um, time is an illusion, you know, time is fluid, <laughs> I meant <laughs> energies are interchangeable, meaning it's not gender specific, so keep an open mind and take what resonates, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It'll really help my channel out a lot. Thank you, Healer Spirits and Guides. What messages do we have for Cancer? We're pulling a Spirit Animal Oracle card to see where your current energies are at, all right? Oh, this is a good one. So you got koala spirit and it says spirit has a plan i feel like some of you are wondering what's happening what's going on what am i what am i meant for um is this really the path that i'm meant to go down you know it's this feeling of questioning yourself of questioning <clears throat> trying to understand what this plan is. It's like, yeah, I know spirit has a plan for me, <laughs> but what is it? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> and for some of you, it, there's contentment as well in, in knowing that there is a plan for you, you know? That's beautiful. Let's move on. We're going to draw another animal card here from the other spirit animal <laughs> deck. I just love animals. You know, I feel like I have a strong uh, connection with animals. Wow. You got the owl spirit. The owl talks about wisdom. seeing clearly it's like your mind is open cancer Ooh, let's see i'm gonna read a little bit of that uh, owl spirit because the energy coming off of that card is intense let's see where you at okay Abundance, clairvoyant, mm-hmm, that I feel there's a cancer here that is psychic, <clears throat> treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess Lakshmi and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. Wow. When in balance, it's generous, trusting, secure. When out of balance, money quarrels, scarcity. And to bring into balance, there needs to be an offering. Hmm. Wow, Cancer. So, obviously, Cancerians are very highly intuitive. I know this because I'm a Scorpio. And us water, water signs, we're very intuitive. And I feel like you, <clears throat> you, I feel like you feel like something is, is coming. I, it's like, you know, that something big is coming your way, something major, something possibly life changing. And 
you, you're waiting for it. And you're just like, when is it gonna, when am I gonna have this epiphany? It's just, <laughs> that's the energy that I feel. But with the owl, it's, for some of you, there could very well be some kind of like l large sum of money or something, some kind of treasure coming your way. But for a lot of you, I feel like a spiritual awakening in a sense. So take it as a resonance, right? It's, I feel it. it if It's like your, your awakening to your higher purpose. That's what I feel, Cancer. I feel like you're going to have a realization of what you're meant for in this lifetime. Mm-hmm. Cancer. Okay, come on, spirit. What, what messages do we have for Cancer? These are some energy oracle cards. So you got hostilities. Now, for some of you, this could be hostilities within your own mind. The sword represents, you know, the mind, thought, right? It represents air. And I feel like for some of you, there could be self-sabotaging thoughts. But for others of you, I feel like it's this feeling of leaving hostilities behind because this card actually popped up in reverse so it's like it's like this feeling of walking away from drama you know what i mean or toxic people or people who are just like bad <laughs> excuse me strategy you trying to figure it out some of you, this could be indicative of writing a journal, doing a blog, social media. Um, I feel like some of you are writers in a, in a sense of like songwriting. I mean, some of you could be writers for like a book or something. Something about a compass. Something about navigating your way. I mean, we are in Sagittarius season, and navigation has a lot to do with Sagittarians, right? Expansion, moving forward. This is a time where we try new things, try different things, you know, if something's not working, Try something else. <laughs> and that's kind of what this feels like. It's it's maybe you're gonna have your your epiphany in this season. Let's see. Angel of Balance. <clears throat> Hang on, I just got drawn to this key here. You see the key on top of there? There's a door that is about to be opened, I feel. You have the key, that's what I'm hearing. It's, it's like, there's a door that is about to be opened and this is gonna crack cancer wide open. Mm-hmm. The angel of balance. Okay, so you see how there's those pyramids in the back. I, For some of you, I feel like you could really be tied to um, ancient Egypt. I channeled this message the last time I did the reading for you. And I feel like some of you are, are, are tied to it. And you know why? Because I feel like the world nowadays needs more people who are in, 
as intuitive as Cancerians. And I feel like that's why maybe in this lifetime, we have a lot of Cancerians who have come from ancient Egypt. Now that sounds crazy, but that's just what I, that's just what I feel. Some of you are really drawn to this color here. I feel like this is Cancer's color, the blue. But angel balance, it's like you are, it's like you are harnessing your power. You're harnessing your emotions, you're harnessing your gifts, and you are finding balance and contentment in that. Whew, Cancer, this is beautiful. Wow. Starbucks, they still got their pumpkin cold brews. They ain't paying me to, to promote them neither. But they should. <clears throat> All right, let's draw um, enchanted map cards here. What are we at? 11 minutes? Okay. Thank you, spirit. Deep freeze. I feel like for some of you, you've done some pretty, you know, deep healing. That's what that card talks about. It talks about just taking a moment to chill out, <laughs> pun intended. Then you got solitude. Yeah. You really doing, um, I feel like you really doing that shadow work, Cancer. What else, Spirit? What other messages do we have for Cancer? The solitude talks about being alone, and I feel more of an energy of choosing to be alone, taking that time to heal, taking that time to grow. Oh, damn. So you got dry desert, commitment, and heal the out. <clears throat> so it, it feels like there's a good amount of you that are doing that have done this deep healing and it and it's like you made the commitment to to really change to really heal your old wounds to really let it go and i see that writing has probably been helping you to do that. Maybe you've been writing your feelings out. Opening up to partnerships. To actual commitment, I heard. This is beautiful, but let's move on. We gotta start uh, pulling some tarot cards here. Because if I sit here and try to uh, channel it, all of the messages that, come, that came from those cards, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, you got the lovers. Mm -hmm. Some of you are opening up to love. Um, yes, I said it. Some of you are opening up to love, to an actual connection, to a real um, serious relationship. Now, this could be a relationship with yourself, so keep that in mind. 
But I feel like a good amount of you is ready to, to love again. You ever heard that song by Lady Antebellum, Ready to Love Again? I just That just popped in my head. The world cosmos. Yes, I'm ready to love again. That's what that, that's how that song goes. Um, but the world cosmos in reverse, you're ending a cycle. You are, <clears throat> I feel like you're closing out a chapter in your life, Cancer. Wow. And it, it's like you've done the healing and now you're just like, all right, now what? <laughs> Ace of materials in reverse. Yeah, this, so the Ace of Materials talks about a new beginning, right? Um, uh, could be career related. A new beginning of a career nature, um, a golden opportunity, so to speak. And tied in with the World Cosmos card here, it feels like Spirit hasn't presented you with this opportunity for spiritual growth, for awakening um, yet, because there's a cycle that has to close. And I feel like you're probably like at the cusp. It feels like you are getting very close to the end here of that cycle. What else, Spirit? What other messages do we have for Cancer? Justice. You're going to get what's fair. You're going to get, you know, things are going to work out in your favor. You're emerging. You see how she, it seems like she cracked open that hard shell of hers and she's coming out. It's like someone's popping out a baby. But you see, this is very interesting. But if you, I don't know if you can see it. She's cracking open out of this hard shell and she's emerging and her third eye is open. Her third eye is cracked wide open. Is that what's happening, Cancer? You cracking open. Cancer's cracking open. I don't know if I should be scared or happy. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Let's see what else, Spirit. What other messages do we have? Yep. The high priestess, you following that intuition, you know, it's like, you know, this reading that I'm doing so far, it's like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh my God. And that's your card too, Cancer. Wow. That's beautiful. This is very, very, very beautiful energy coming out of here. It's like a flower blossoming. Let's see. Can I get four more cards, Spirit? Where are you at? Yeah, I know. But that don't mean you gotta take so long. Thank you. Interesting. Three of inspiration and four of inspiration come came out together. Oh ho ho shit. Oh my god, okay. You're headed towards your spirit tribe. It's like, you see how in this, so three of inspiration talks about um, 
making the journey okay could be talking about waiting for for your boats to arrive but in in this case i feel like it's making the journey taking making the commitment to for towards this journey and it's like you are making your way towards the four of wands here this is a solid foundation a home um a soul tribe mainly in this deck it's a soul tribe okay and it's like you're awakening the dominoes there there was a domino effect or it's like you know how spirit has a plan for you things needed to happen the way that they did or the way that they're going to in order to get you to where you need to be right and it's like a domino effect it's like spirit i mean you kicked over the domino right and it's almost it's making its way around you know the table and then i feel like it's almost at the end it's almost going to be to where it's the last domino you're go you're going over a hurdle to get to your soul tribe <clears throat> Or you're finding your soul tribe. You know, take it as it resonates. What are we at? 21 minutes? Okay. I'm sorry, Cancer, that I take so long. I, You know, I just love your energy so much. The two of voices in reverse. Yeah, it's like you are working it out. You are figuring out the pieces. You are un unfolding, I feel. Blossoming. Mm-hmm. Three, three of cups. Cancer. Energy. Wow. Your energy is coming through strong, Cancer. Three of cups. Reasons to celebrate with others. You know. Um, in this particular deck, I feel like this is someone standing in their own power. And for you being a water sign, you know, that's double the statement. You harnessing that energy, Cancer. That's beautiful. What's on the page of emotions on the bottom of the deck? Your heart is cracked open. This is crazy. This is intense. Let me get another sip of this. Whew, cancer. I love this energy so much. What's on the bottom of the deck? King of Wands in reverse. Now, who is this dude? We're going to pull a most likely outcome for you, okay, Cancer? For some of you, I feel like... There's someone here that's very attracted to you, or it could be vice versa. You could be attracted to them, but it's like you ain't paying no mind to them. It's like you... You just kind of like, I'm very focused and determined to have my spiritual awakening. Thank you very much. That's what it feels like. Page of Pentacles. Taking the initial steps towards your goals. Towards your success. Let's see. What's coming up next for Cancer Spirit? What's coming up next? What's coming up next for Cancer? Four of Swords. A period of rest and relaxation. Um, and to me, that's the card of like being able to catch your breath. You know what I mean? Which is good. I've... Hangman in reverse. In this deck, 
to me, it feels like there's enlightenment happening. You see how there's that, you know, radiation around his head? There's enlightenment happening. Maybe this is the past here still. Maybe this is the what you've been doing. Let's see, what else, spirit? What's coming up next for cancer? There it is. So you got the Ace of Wands in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. And it feels like... <clears throat> I'm hearing the word lust, lust. It's almost like you let go of lust with this ace of wands in reverse. Maybe lusting over uh, someone, maybe someone lusting over you, I don't know. But with the seven of pentacles, not only are you working towards your reward and your payoff, but it really does feel like you let it go because you see how this guy is kind of like daydreaming. It feels like you're okay with that. You're like, you know what? I'll just, I'm going to continue to work on myself and my spiritual growth. And I'm just going to keep daydreaming about this person, you know, and I'm fine with that. That's kind of what this feels like. And the thing is, Spirit says, you're going to get that reward. You remember that big payoff we talked about earlier? The, the treasure, the boon from the owl spirit? You're going to get it. There's stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. Financial stability. You know, a happy marriage for some of you. A solid relationship. <sighs> yeah, bottom of the deck, you got the page of wands. Talking about a message. Oh, yeah, look. So underneath the page of wands, we have the tower. There it is, the realization. And then the queen of wands. And then you even got the... um. Four of Pentacles in reverse, and look, there's your card. The Chariot in reverse this time. No forward movement. And But the thing is, I feel like what Spirit is trying to say is continue to follow the signs, continue to um, <clears throat> pay attention to the signs and move forward because this tower moment will will happen that's what i'm hearing it's like as long as you continue to pay attention to the signs you will get there that realization will happen for you and you will be in this energy of the queen of wands you know she gets shit done she handles her business she does it with fun she's very inspiring uh, very motivating, you know, super attractive, right? And you're going to learn how to let go. And with the chariot in reverse, it just feels like it, it's like a stop, like not necessarily like like a stop that's keeping you from progressing it's just a stop of like you know what i got i got here and i'm good with that you know what i mean it's that feeling of being fully content with with who you are and what you're all about and it's like i'm it's like i'm good with this that's what i'm hearing you bad bitch, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and pull a Shaman Oracle card to close out this reading because we already at what? 
30 minutes. Whew. Cancer, beautiful, beautiful energy. I love this reading. Thank you so much. Sometimes I get readings that are like very heavy. Or well, not sometimes, a lot of times. And this is this is a this is a refreshing, you know, thing. The rainbow. This card talks about going for what it is that you want and doing it fearlessly. Aligning your your chakras. Let me, I'm going to read this one, okay? I love the, the descriptions in this book, so just bear with me, okay? <clears throat> the rainbow symbolizes the, the seven steps of a true spiritual path, which manifest as the colors of the seven chakras. Let's see. In the Himalayas, the rainbow body is seen as the full realization of our essence you see that it's like you're gonna have your spiritual awakening to where you find out like your purpose wow the rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and the spiritual worlds at the end of our lives we can journey across the rainbow bridge to the highest heavenly realms when the rainbow appears it is an affirmation that all is well and that you are in right relationship with spirit. That's beautiful. The rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere and remember that it is darkest just before the dawn. Do not give up hope. Things are about to take a positive turn. Listen for the morning rooster that announces the coming of the dawn, even while the night is still darkest. But do not claim victory yet or let your guard down fully. Here's the medicine. Don't get caught in pursuit of the illusion of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Find the treasure now, in the moment, by coming into right relationship with those around you. All your gifts are at hand, so obvious you may have missed them. Be true with your intentions and do not be led astray by daydreams. Ah, oh, you see that? There was a warning from Spirit saying... Don't be led astray by daydreams. Stay focused, Cancer. Because you say right here, you're like, I'm going to daydream and I'm okay with that. But Spirit is like, mm -mm -mm. that might be the case, but don't do it. <laughs> all right, Cancer, that's all I have for you today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Cancer, I will see you later. Bye!